In this video, we're going to show how to perform an air content test. The standard allows the use of two different test methods, the reintroduced Type A Klein-Walker air meter and the Type B air meter, which is by far the most prevalent pressure-based apparatus that is finding routine employment in New Zealand. As the equipment used for the air test can also be used in the yield test, many lab technicians double up by performing the yield test first and then carry straight on to perform an air content test on the same sample. You'll need the following equipment a Type B air test meter, a soft-nosed hammer, gloves, a scoop, a trowel, a tamping rod to the dimensions shown with a round hemispherical tip, a clipboard to record the results, some weigh scales in both a damp and dry cloth. Moisten the lid and pot with the damp cloth. While the air content test doesn't require the meter to be weighed, you should record the weight of the empty pot and its cover at this point if you're planning to do both yield and air tests on the same sample. The pot is filled in thirds, with each third rotted at least 25 times. Take care to not strike the bottom of the pot when rotting the first layer, and for the second and third layers the tamping rod should just penetrate the previous layer. If vibration is to be used instead of rotting, take care to avoid excessive effort which might promote segregation effects. After each tamping session, tap the sides of the bowl to close up any holes left by the tamping rod and to cause any remaining entrapped air to rise to the surface. Regardless of the chosen compaction method, consolidation of the third layer should leave the measuring bowl overfilled prior to screening. After screening with a trowel, we're looking for a final top surface which is level with the rim of the measuring bowl. Remove all excess material and ensure that the bowl rim is clean enough to receive its cover such that an effective seal between the two will be possible. Give the cover a final wipe with a dry cloth to ensure a good seal. Before clamping the cover on the bowl, ensure the water inlet and water bleed valves in the cover are open and close the air chamber connection valve and the air bleed valve. Secure the cover in place by clipping opposite pairs of connectors. If performing a yield test as well, record the weight of the charged test meter. Introduce water through the appropriate inlet valve with a view to displacing all air from the space under the cover. Rock the meter gently and continue adding water until it flows freely from the water bleed valve and transports no further air bubbles. Close both water valves. By means of the hand pump, increase pressure in the air chamber until it just exceeds the starting pressure as shown on the pressure gauge. Operate the air bleed valve to bring the pressure back to its proper starting level. Proceed immediately to open the connection valve between the air chamber and the bowl. Tap the sides of the ladder gently until the pressure pointer comes to rest. Knock on the gauge itself with a light finger action to ensure that the pointer has not stuck. Read the gauge and report the recorded air content to the nearest 0.5%. Detailed written instructions for performing the air content test can be found in the CCANZ Information Bulletin number 53, available on our website. CCANS would like to thank the crew at Firth Whangarei for their time and the use of their facilities. <laughs>